All right, so for those of you who need help on how to find the measurement or sizing of your chain ring, you got your bolt center diameter or bolt to bolt measurement. We'll go through that. So first off, we got five bolt holes, one, two, three, four, five. Something you're gonna see more on a road bike, cyclocross maybe. Um, they're starting to transition to four when you see the gravel bikes. So, um, but generally we had five here because we had to go to really big chain rings, which needed a little more support, but we're going to a smaller ones for our cyclocross. This is a 42 tooth. So that's one identification, five bolt instead of four. And then we're going to the spacing. Um, so there's different measurements. We can go bolt directly to bolt. And that's uh, usually typically center to center or we're going uh, bolt circle diameter, which is the diameter here. Uh, if we look straight across, there's no bolt there. So it makes it a little difficult. So we're usually going from here. And then when we're measuring, you're measuring from the end of the hole or the front of the hole to the opposite end of the hole over here, which can be a little annoying or confusing as well. And then other stuff like this is a one by, so we have the wide, narrow, wide teeth. And then of course our teeth count or tooth count, this is a 42. A lot of that information is here. Like here it just says SRAM 42T, 11 speed, X sync. So it gives you that information. And here they're trying to make you use SRAM chain only. We'll see if that's true or not. Um, I hope not, because I don't want to go out and buy a SRAM chain just for this. So you can do measurements with a ruler or if you have a micrometer, Great, we can do something like that. So I know for a fact this is a one by, or I'm sorry, a 110 millimeter. So we're gonna establish that first. So in this case, we're gonna go, I'm gonna open this up to 110. Okay, so that's 110 right there, I established that. So now we're gonna see if we can establish a marker. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start at this hole end here, opposed to the front of the hole. So that would be your imaginary bolt hole circle diameter at 110. Now if I try to go across over here, let's see. Yeah, stuff doesn't quite line up. It goes to almost the middle of the hole. I'm at the back of the hole over here. If I try to go to the middle here, it back goes over to the back one over there. So that can be a little difficult. If you want, you can measure bolt to bolt. You can find a conversion. In this case, let's see what that is in the book. All right, so this is the Park Tool book. It's the latest fourth edition. Uh, this is bolt circle diameter. Uh, so we got uh, three arm cranks, four arm cranks, five arm cranks. We established we got five because it's a five bolt hole chain ring. So we're gonna work from down here. Okay, so we got five arm cranks. Uh, we established, so in this column here, it's bolt to bolt measurement. And then in this column here is BCD, bolt center diameter. And then over here we got uh, common use. Okay, so we established we got 110 because that's what the old one was. That's what the crank said. That's what the spiders are, are measured, originally measured. And then if we go over to when an old bolt to bolt, so it's going from one bolt to the next closest bolt is a 64.7. And then usage over here is uh, middle slash outer compact road. That's what it, that's what a 110 is typically for. And then we go to jump to uh, over here for the uh, BCD bolt center diameter 94. Most common is gonna be middle outer uh, MTB, which is mountain bike. That's gonna be your other most common right there. So if we measure 64.7 or try and get close to that, we're gonna see where that measures up on our bolt holes. So let's make sure we're zeroed out, boom. We're gonna go 64.7. We're close to it. All right, 64.72, I'm happy with that. So we established that. And then we're gonna go closest bolts to closest bolt. And we're gonna see what that looks like. So if we go center to center of the hole, that actually looks pretty good. If I go to the back of the hole over here, it's gonna measure the front of the hole over here. So you can do that as well. Or you could jump to the front of the hole over here and it goes to the back of the hole over here. So that's gonna be side of your 64.72. Then you can find a, your conversion chart and then it should measure if we're gonna go <clears throat> bolt center diameter two across to the other bolt, which makes it a little more difficult. Let's establish that, 110. Uh, boom, 110. And that's gonna look something like this. So if we use this bolt here, we go center to there. 
and this is going to be your 110 measurement right there and then you just make an imaginary circle all the way around and you can see on this one we got narrow so that's our thin tooth if we were to put a measurement on that this would be thinner measure thinner which is a little thicker actually has a little notch a little step down right there so we got narrow wide narrow and the wide one's going to hold onto the chain but then it jumps to the next one, the narrow, which is a skinnier one, is going to release the chain. So it's kind of keeping a tight, loose, tight, loose grip all the way around. So that works in conjunction with keeping your chain on, um, along with that clutch derailleur, which is keeping the chain tight on this chain ring. So definitely complement each other.